we are up in Buena Vista right now and we're trying to find something new to hit up uh, which isn't hard to do but um, I found this spot called Half Moon Creek and it looks like a decent off-road trail it's in between here in Leadville a little bit closer to Leadville the trail itself is like 11 miles should take about three hours if we do the whole thing which we may not uh, but what's nice is there's some dispersed camping along the trail so we're gonna hit that up it is Memorial Day weekend, so it might be a bit hard finding a campsite, but we're hoping to have gotten out of here a little bit early, so we will see, but we'll catch out on the trail. Right, we have made it to Half Moon Road Trail or something like that, whatever it is. John never knows what he's talking about. I never know. Yeah, I know we're out in the woods somewhere <laughs> up past Buena Vista. Actually, we're closer to Leadville now, yeah. I think. But we just stopped to make some sandwiches. And this weekend is special. Really excited because we have my brother, Josh, and his wife, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> visiting from Indiana so they're out uh, it's Memorial Day weekend so they're hanging out with us for about a week we're probably just gonna camp one night it is a bit chilly already so it's probably gonna make for a pretty cold night if I had to guess but we uh, luckily there's no fire ban so we're gonna be set up for that and yeah we're gonna be just trying to stay warm but this is a I think a 10 mile off-road trail uh, we're gonna hit it not the whole thing Mary's stomach's bothering her a little bit, so we're probably not going to get too wild <laughs> with it. Uh, and then we're going to go hit a couple trails, or maybe one trail to hike up closer to Leadville once we once we claim our campsite. Mm. Oh, free wood! Hell yeah! That's a lot easier than chopping it. <laughs> My knees. Okay, Mary. Yeah. What are we doing? Where are we hiking? We're hiking towards Atlas. Come here. We're hiking towards Atlas. The Mount Albert. Also, we're just doing the quick 14, 14 or Mount Albert. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Starting yeah, at exactly. two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're just. Uh, we we're trying to find something up on this trail that we are going to be camping on and just decided we'll, we're going to do this hike but only go up a couple couple two three miles and then just backtrack so nothing too crazy i'm already out of breath
park it right here. We're close enough to some trees that I think hopefully the wind won't be too bad. I think that'll be all right. I'll just have one of you guys spot. Maybe Mary, you can spot for me while I'm going over these. I don't bang anything up too bad. Yeah, get that out of the way. Pretty light, it's cloudy. Sound like a plan? Well, he's give it a shot. I'm going to high center on the one I'm over. Yep. Good. Keep coming. You're always in the feet. You're starting to slip that way. Good. Keep going. You're over it. That's it. Something. Is that just my skid plate? Thank God for the skid plate. We ended up finding a pretty sweet spot. There's been tons of open spots up along this trail. And this one put us right down by the creek. I think we've got enough, enough trees blocking us from the wind. I think it's gonna be a pretty good setup. So starting to get the camp set up. We bought, we bought a couple ricks of wood, but we're definitely gonna need a lot more to stay warm tonight. So Josh is getting some chopped up and we're gonna probably have to go scavenge for some if I had to guess. So, we got a pretty bitchin' little spot here. I'm pretty stuck. It's always nice when we get down by a creek because uh, Mary makes some loud noises sleeping during the night and usually I need a sound machine and now I don't need one. Oh! <laughs> No, 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 follow me. We're gonna go check out the local creek. Yeah, something got, got. something got got here. <laughs> I don't know what kind of animal that was. You want to see something very pretty that I found? Oh, I do. Come on, buddy. Easy, easy. We were not getting in the water, pal. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we just passed oh, another God, one. Oh, that's so pretty. Dandelion. Is that what that is? It's the last dandelion. Are elk around here? Oh yeah. <laughs> There's all these rocks that you need to take home. <laughs> you're, you're like a seven year old boy. <laughs> this is I suspected. <laughs> Wanna try that again? I've only had one beer, I promise. <laughs> I don't want to say it anymore. Atlas. Atlas, get out of there. You like I rocks? I like rocks. I like the way they feel in my hand. <laughs> okay, well this this area does not disappoint. Uh oh. Leave it. He didn't even really try to eat that. That's dog food. Probably like that's not my dog food. Oh, cause that would stop him? Yeah. <laughs>
coffee win is half the status. Can't bring the link that I've been collecting. Oh no! Check your, check your belly buttons. Really good. Um, I can't exactly find something. I'm going to put a tubby crack in it. Ready to cuddle with me tonight during the fire atlas. Glad you followed that up with a atlas. <laughs> She was right Not my there. brother. <laughs> she did come sit right next to me. <laughs> Sheesh. It's like I launched off like, oh, okay. Remember when I told Alice to bark on command? <laughs> Have you had a favorite part of your day yet, John? No. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> favorite part of my day? Drive was nice. Not my favorite part. Of the day. Not your favorite part. <laughs> I have a feeling uh, hanging out by the fire here, eating some dinner is gonna be pretty nice. So that's my sister-in-law. <laughs> so another perk of finding a camp spot by a creek is you get free water. And as long as you get it boiled up, you're good to go. So we didn't bring a ton of water with us out here uh, because we knew we were just gonna be out for one night. We got our dirty dishes and we just scoop up a little bit of water. We can get that boiled up, get that cleaned out, and then we save all the rest of our other water for drinking water. Wow, that zoomed in on my face. All right. Uh, so much to our surprise, well, it got down to like 30 or so last night, which we were expecting, but much to our surprise, none of us were cold sleeping last night, and I don't know why. We, usually I would say if it's 30 or so, Mary and I are pretty cold when we're sleeping up in the tent, but maybe had a couple more layers on than usual. I don't know. But we were happy. It was, it was a welcome surprise. So we built a fire this morning, had to start it from scratch. Josh couldn't do it, so I had to jump in and help him out. <laughs> uh, Mary's getting some uh, some veggies chopped up over there. Well, sawing some veggies. She's sawing some veggies with a very dull knife. So we're going to get some breakfast, get, cl get camp cleaned up, and then we've got two hikes that Brittany found that look pretty good. One's going through a meadow, and it's supposed to have some really nice views. No, no real elevation gain, which will be nice because none of us are really up to that right now. <laughs> and then uh, back on our way through Salida, I guess there's one that's got a waterfall. So it's only like a mile or so. We're going to hit that and get back home.
go see a waterfall. What's it called? I don't remember. Ugh, Mary. Let me check. Hold on. We gotta tell the people what we're doing. All seven of them. Agnes Vale Falls. Oh, that's trail. a horrible name. Yeah, that's why I couldn't remember it. Agnes Vale Falls. Agnes. It's gorgeous. All right, I think it's only about like a one mile hike, so yeah. should be quick and easy, but beautiful. Let's go. size. Unfortunately, I think this is about as close as we can get to it. The trail sort of stops here and we're not going to forge our own path to it. So pretty neat though. It's always nice getting out to see some waterfalls. I got to make my way back up. Go down? I'm alright. Sure? Yeah. Alright. Who's a good boy? Good As always, I appreciate you making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It really is fun getting to share these trips with you guys. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.